Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is a video where I am taking a look at the box prices of the Flesh and Blood boxes and compare those to the expected values, so the value of the cards inside a box. Because I want to know which set is worth to be opened. Last time I did this video uh, I explained this in a little more detail. That was the video from January 25th. That was also the last time I've checked the prices. Um, so what I did there was um, I took the I took this list right here. Hold on, I'll make this bigger. Then write down what's the box price, including shipping. What's the case price, including shipping, and then subtract that by the EV, and then get a number which shows us the cost of entertainment. So last time it did look like this. If you were to open an Arcane Rising box, you would pay 64 bucks more than the value of the cards. And on the other hand, we've had Dusk Till Dawn, which you know, showed us that the cards inside were worth more than the box price. And also we've had Dynasty, second place, where you were just paying 860. That was your cost of entertainment. It's a... Uh, I did explain it in the last video, so I came up with, that was wrong, all of these EV videos right here, EV, 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 this is where we just look how much do the cards cost and how many cards on average do you get. So, um, today it looks like this, if I just open this, this is the wrong way to look at it basically because I took the last, I mean I did this two months ago. I still have this chart up here and now there's a comparison to that but that's basically not what we need so next time we do this in two months again I think I'm just gonna have one price point again and not a comparison this doesn't make too much sense but that's what we're going with and now um, as you can see Arkane Rising is even more expensive to open this the difference between the price of the cards and the box price is 70 Welcome to Wrath, also more expensive, 54. On the other hand, Dusk Till Dawn down here, this is basically worth opening. I think we're going to open this next week. I did get more cases from Sapphire Cards and Max, the owner, is in Los Angeles in the top eight right now today. So, oh, also, later tonight, at 8.30 we're opening the latest PCG submission, so the cards that returned. Um, yeah, it's, that's gonna be fun, 8.30 today. So, um, what do we need to know? One euro is what you pay for Dusk to Dawn, that's your cost of entertainment. That's the difference between the box price and the value of the cards. Um, Dynasty back here, 22.84, it's not worth opening this right now in my eyes second place here is bright lights heavy hitters i'm sorry i didn't graphically do this perfect but that's second place bright lights 19 euros more than the than the cards inside and then also we have uprising and monarch first those are in the range of well, value wise depends on what you pay right if you can get these products, that's the um, price for one box. If you can get those cheaper, you can, uh, you know, basically adjust those numbers. But yeah, Dusk Till Dawn is totally worth opening right now. And also keep in mind, this, this is because I have expected values and those rotate every two months so this week we've had Arcane Rising and Welcome to Wrath so those numbers are pretty new and pretty accurate and the other ones in the rotation like Crucible of War that's almost two months ago that we checked the expected value maybe the expected value went up or down so those numbers are pretty um, imprecise I would say but yeah, that's that. Duster Lord hasn't been too long ago since we checked that. It's totally worth opening this. We're going to do that. I think I didn't explain this perfectly good, but you get the idea. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you tonight in the stream. Bye-bye.